have stepped in the game. And point blank range. Who'd have stepped in the game? And point blank range. Who'd have stepped in the game? Stepped in the game. Stepped in the game. Okay, so I try to be observant, then I see things like this. Uh, there's a video out there from a, a YouTuber that goes by the name of Picky Old Gamer. Um, he's made a couple of videos now, and he's got a couple of replies in text or video form from Super Metal Dave. Also, um, both of the the links to their channels will be in the description of this video. So, the issue herein is. Uh, both of these individual YouTubers uh, talking about some quote unquote secret sauce pointing to what uh, Nintendo NX allegedly is. And I I know I've made a, a couple of stances in Shadowcast and um, other videos that I've made regarding the the intentional lack of discussion on that subject and for obvious reasons. However, um, <laughs> The light of things like this happening is uh, somewhat entertaining, so I figured I'd set the record straight for a couple of things. So the the first topic is uh, the the first video that Picky Old Gamer, Picky Old Gamer made, and it's with regards to um, Netfront NX, um, more or less in the in the video. Um, and basically the gist of the video is that uh, the Nintendo 3DS had a Netfront NX browser which I, I guess you would say since it's called Netfront NX then that therefore means that this is planned for the NX console or the, the browser version was already planned way back in 2011-2012 when the 3DS was released and that's that's quite a bit far-fetched um, and the reason why I will say that is um, Netfront is a separate company from Nintendo um, they released the or they started to advertise the the Netfront NX mo mobile platform for all types of devices and they started marketing it as, as far back as CES um, 2011 and 2012 and it's used for everything. It's used for the PlayStation 4, the PlayStation Vita, the Wii U, the 3DS, TVs. There's even a very specific Netfront NX browser for um, automotive applications. So your in-dash um, radio or GPS would also have this, uh, this type of functionality to basically play back HTML5 content be it you know M4A audio or um, M4V video and other tags that HTML5 can use so for um, voice streaming and uh, think things of that nature that way you won't need any, any other types of plugins to get the functionality you would otherwise need from a, a full-fledged browser um, say f Internet Explorer or Safari or, or something like that that you would find on a Mac or PC or a Linux box so yeah that browser version 2.1 is on the Wii U um, I'm not sure which version is on the the 3DS but that being said it that is a completely separate company they're not in bed with Nintendo they just made they just happen to make a um, a really decent mobile browser for I, I would imagine a, an affordable cost so they were a lot better than all the tons of hidden licensing issues that would that would occur dealing with Opera and some of the other types of uh, not so freeware browsers out there. So yeah, NX is is nothing has nothing to do with that. In Nintendo NX and Netfront NX are not necessarily similar in any way shape or form other than the fact that they both use uh, 
two abbreviations and they could mean completely different things I'm not exactly certain because I'm not inside of Netfront's mind but I would imagine that Nintendo did not decide to say hey Netfront has NX in the name of their browser so we will name our console after that sounds more like Nintendo is not sure or doesn't know what to name the console yet so that would just be the the code name for now and go from there whereas Netfront NX is a full-fledged release name for a product that they've been pushing for the better part of uh, five plus years now so yeah the correlations there are minimal so what's the other issue the other issue is another video that um, picky old gamer put out and at some point Super Metal Dave replied to it and made his own video talking about uh, some other things there and what Nintendo could do with uh, cloud services and cloud streaming and so what, what Pikio Gamer pointed out was that some hacker quote unquote came forward to him to say that there's a there exists um, an Amazon front end and back end for my nintendo.com and while that is true um, the the conspiracy theories in there I'm afraid so yes if you look at my nintendo.com um, you'll see a lot of lot of pointers back to um, AWS type file resources so but what what most people don't know is um, Nintendo has been using Amazon, um, AWS, and some of IBM's own um, cloud solutions for the better part of five or six years now. So they've been using AWS dating all the way back to StreetPass um, to support the Nintendo DS and some instances of the Wii and, um, and the 3DS once it launched. So that's not necessarily saying that this is for Nintendo NX and this is where it's going to go forward. This is something that Nintendo saw as a, as a need during during Street Pass, and that they have all these different all these different. For those of you that don't know how Street Pass is designed, there's there's multiple um, nodes that are set up whenever you have a a a client or a, a DS nearby they would go to a Nintendo zone is what they they term they dub them that would be at a you know a McDonald's or Starbucks or wherever and you would be able to download new content that would you be able you be able to um, basically hang out with other other people's me's and exchange costumes and hats and all those other types of things and get new content based on you visiting that one location well, Nintendo has to update all that information at um, at one time and make sure they reach all the different regional areas where they have all these different access points to um, for users to download this information. Well, how do you how do you broadly spread out uh, this space this space and how do you make it all seamless and how do you make it all basically sync with everything else that you have on your internal server side? Well, you do that with a with a a shared resource, which would be basically a, a cloud a cloud service, be it internal, external, or a mixture of the two. And that's where AWS comes in. And I've got a I've got a couple of links here. So um, way back in the day, um, it, when, when the late Satoru Iwata was was interviewed for the the UK version of the Nintendo website, he talked about. Uh, how they use AWS for for Street Pass and a couple of other a couple of other instances, and he also mentioned that's exactly how Meverse is set up as well on the Wii U. And if you if you go to um, Meverse.com and you actually if you can either take you can either use the development um, console on your browser if you know how to do that, or you can actually um, monitor the the net traffic while you browse Meverse on your Wii U or your mobile or or computing device you will see a lot of bouncing back and forth um, for different different items be it be it uh, pictures or your your actual account information 
is being stored in a in an information store in Amazon's cloud services so you'll see uh, a lot of a lot of tags for DNS records going back to um, AWS or AWS2 uh, domains or also they'll be going back to NetFront domains or I'm sorry CloudFront domains and CloudFront is that is that is Amazon Web Services for basically for the corporate environment and they use that quite a bit and quite a few companies use it uh, Microsoft uses it to some extent Sony uses it for parts of their online store as a matter of fact they they started migrating some of their stuff away from um, Amazon Web Services for some of their stores due to a more recent breach uh, data breach that that Sony got and they got hacked and stuff like that so they started changing some of that stuff around so the security layout didn't look the same as everybody else so everybody uses Amazon it's not just some some new kind of magical gimmick that Nintendo is using for an as of yet unannounced platform with no details whatsoever for us to really speculate on so yeah, yeah people are going to be excited about uh, Nintendo NX basically because Nintendo said it, is, it is, is and it's coming and there's no details on it because they're Nintendo they don't want anybody to copy their information so they are mums the word until you get anything so people are grasping whatever they can to attempt to kind of uh, uncover things if you will but there's nothing to uncover here really so yeah AWS is used everywhere um, it's nothing special it's used for just about everything there's some PS3 games that use it for online modes I think The Last of Us and a couple other games have used it Ubisoft uses it for a lot of their um, their um, their you play their you play service as well as uh, online multiplayer lobbies there's <clears throat> there's multiple websites that use it basically if you've ever had a Squarespace page that also that also is hosted on Amazon Web Services numerous types of, of pages so yeah though not to burst the bubble but if, if you if you really want to dig deep and, and look at stuff and I, I don't know who this hacker resource is supposed to be but this is like common basic stuff that you would know if you had a baseline certification um, from CompTIA or Cisco with, with, with networking you should be able to monitor network traffic and see exactly what's going on from there and trust me if they if you find out that kind of stuff it's no big secret Nintendo basically didn't care whether or not they wanted to rename that DNS record for that one that one service that pointed to Amazon or maybe there's some kind of contractual agreement between them and Amazon where they couldn't do that because they own that domain so they couldn't change it or change the redirect for it so it's probably pretty deliberate there I don't think there's anything they're really hiding there so I, I don't I don't know what this person this unnamed source that picky old gamer had that was trying to give him some type of information but it's nothing it's nothing really it's right home about so for those of you out there that that may have been misled about that type of thing and, and any of you guys that have maybe maybe watched a couple of those videos and all if you will um, welcome to the the world of reality and no that's that's not magic that's just not necessarily misinformation it's it's an observation that led to a lot of uh, a lot of wishful thinking that doesn't really mean anything spectacular at all who knows Nintendo could use Amazon Web Services for something great but we don't know that there's no way to tell what exactly could be done or um, what what wouldn't be done with with those services right now I mean there's all kind of things being done with those they they're there are TVs that use them just for the front end of the device when you browse some of the apps on the app store on that TV you, you have no idea what what could be used some of the Amazon web services were used for ITV when you were doing uh, Nintendo TV on the Wii U so as well as Miiverse there's no there's no way to really say one thing or another my Nintendo was not the, the new reveal Nintendo has been using Amazon web services for several years so there's no there's no new reveal there yeah so I just wanted to spread this information to you guys and and please don't 
jump off a cliff anytime you see something that may have not been as as common of knowledge previously and just because some news comes out uh, about Nintendo or somebody finds something new about Nintendo doesn't mean it's directly relating to NX it could just be business as usual and some people are just now noticing what they've been doing all this time yeah this is Shadow Fox Infinite signing out do you play games to have fun or to impress other people <laughs>